fourth Aliyah, Revi, in Parshas Tobis. This Aliyah starts off, the Torah tells us, Vayal Misham Be'er Shava, that Yitzchak goes up, he went, he left the land of Avimelech, the land of Lishtim, and he goes up to Be'er Shava. And the next passage says, Vayira Ilav Hashem Balailahu, Hashem appeared to him that night. And the question is, why does Hashem appear to Yitzchak at night? We know Chazal tell us that Hashem appears to, to Tzadikim, to the Jewish people during the day, to Meshur Rabbeinu, to the others during the day. It's only to non-Jewish prophets like Bilam that Hashem appears to at night in a hidden way, so to speak. Hashem doesn't want anyone to see. It's embarrassing that He's appearing to them. Appearing to them. So why does Hashem appear to Yitzchak that night? So the Bnei Soschar in the Sefer Igor Dekala, he says in the name of the Chesed Lavram, who was the grandfather of the Chida, he writes as follows. He says, the first night that a person goes from Chutz Laaretz to Eretz Yisrael, he gets, he or she gets a new neshama. They get a completely brand new neshama when they go into Eretz Yisrael. So he says that the land of Pelishtim, although it's part of Eretz Yisrael, but it's not as important as mainland Eretz Yisrael. It's the main part of Eretz Yisrael, which he says begins with Be'er Sheva. So again, although Pelishtim is Eretz Yisrael, but it's not really as holy as Be'er Sheva. So he says when Yitzchak is going from Be'er Sheva, from, going from Pelishtim up to Be'er Sheva, he has an alias, and neshama, he gets a new neshama because he's going into Eretz Yisrael for the first time. And that neshama comes the first night that a person goes into Eretz Yisrael. And that's what the Torah tells us. Vayera elav Hashem balaylahu, Hashem appeared to him that night. Because that night was the first time he's in Eretz Yisrael. Therefore, Hashem appears to him. Hashem didn't want to wait till the morning. Hashem appeared to him immediately. The minute he gets that new neshama, his neshama, like the first passage says, Vayal misham, he had an aliyah. Be'er Shava, because he came to Be'er Shava, his neshama had an aliyah. And I think this is a tremendous chizik for all of us. We may not know, a person flying to Eretz Yisrael, a person moving to Eretz Yisrael, like Elad, our, our holy founder of, uh, of Shnaim Yomi, who recently moved to Eretz Yisrael, Mazel Tov, he may not have felt when he moved there that he got a new neshama, but that's what happens. That's what the can tell us. We get a completely brand new neshama. And it's not just Eretz Yisrael. A shul, a base medrash is also like, is holy just like Eretz Yisrael. When a person goes into a shul, when a person goes into a base medrash, then neshama also is uplifted just by walking in. And just by waking up in the morning also. We say, Hashem, thank you. You gave me back my soul. When a neshama goes up to Shemayim, it comes back. It doesn't come back the same. It comes back more pure, holier, a little bit higher. And we should take that as chizik, even though we may feel exactly the same every day. But our neshama is getting more and more pure, and especially for Zaycha to live in Eretz Yisrael, that our neshama is completely brand new. And all of us together should be Zaycha to go there soon and have brand new neshamas.